we always ask this to all the beauty queens that we've interviewed so far. Aside from being uh, Puerto Rico's second Miss World, how do you want people to remember Stephanie Del Valle? Um, wow, that's a that's a really great question. Um, I think I I I want people to remember me for um, the work that I did, and not just the fact that I won Miss World. I want people to remember um, the fact that with the Miss World organization, I was able to to help so many people across the world. I want people to, you know, in time, remember me for um, for making them feel in any way, whether it was because of a movie or because of a speech that I did or or all these kinds of things. I want people to to remember me for for my heart. And, and I'm sure <laughs> and I'm sure everyone will remember you for your passion and compassion. Thank you. Yeah, so again, thank you so much, Stephanie, for this interview. Thank you um, both so much for having me. I've had such an incredible time talking to the both of you. Um, and I feel really honored that you've been able to share this platform with me. So thank you. Yeah. And I have thank to you thank you much. too. I have yeah. to thank you because you're one of the few queens who are very active in Mrs. Sology's Instagram account. Like, especially when we post about Miss World and Miss Puerto Rico's. Yeah. Stephanie, Stephanie would always be one of the first ones to like the, the photos. Of course. <laughs> so thank you, for, thank you for always supporting us. Very yeah. proud Puerto Rican. Who knows, you might become a governor of Puerto Rico. Anymore. I am a very, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I, can, I can never say no, because you can never say never no. Say no. Life, but, but I'm not sure. <laughs> and just, because Lisa yeah, Hanna probably will become the prime minister of Jamaica. So yeah, yeah. and we have um, from Gibraltar as well. She was the the, the mayor for yeah. for a while there too. Yes, kick in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, anyway, before we you. before we wrap up, I just want to show this is one of the photos that I treasured the most. It was the first time that I met Stephanie. <laughs> uh, at least you have a photo with her. I didn't even have a photo. <laughs> Because you run so, away, you know, you were so quick. After it was you actually a photo, photo with Vanessa. With Vanessa. Oh, that's such a, that's at the, that's in the food area of yeah, Tuloy. Tuloy Foundation. I love Tuloy Foundation. You know, I was actually about to wear those earrings today and then I didn't because I couldn't find another one. <laughs> yeah. And I remember that day I, I was staring up while taking photos because it was such a, an emotional, yeah. emotional day. Yeah. It's such a beautiful thing as well that you see happen in the Tuloy Foundation. Like a man mm -hmm. has such an incredible desire to, to help the future of the children in the Philippines that he's created this whole family, basically, where, where, where the kids actually have an opportunity to take classes and all these different things and, and get out of that cycle of poverty and make a name for themselves, you know? It's, it's, I didn't know anything about Tuloy Foundation until I went with, well, until I became Miss World because Julia talks about mm -hmm. Father Rocky all the time. So it's, I, I understand why she talks about it all the time because it's so beautiful. I love, love, I love everything that, that we see there. Yeah, and I, and I always say this, when, when, I, when I went there in Tuloy and I met you and uh, Vanessa and I met Julia, that's when I understood what Miss World really is. Yeah. And I actually, uh, and I, when I met and talked to Julia for a few moments, I, I, I really felt her genuine love for charity, for kids. Yeah. And, I, and I also, I also, I'm also witness to how she loves you and Vanessa. Yeah. Do you know, one of the things that um, always impacts me from Tuloy Foundation is when I went for the first time, that it was Miss World, I went with Julia. In the Tuloy, there's, there's hundreds of, of kids. And so we were taking to the gymnasium, which is where they always do like that big first arrival moment um, where the kids are there to greet us with a beautiful song and dance. And I walk in first as Miss World and all the children are clapping and everything. And behind me walks in uh, Mrs. Morley, walks in Julia. And the kids cheer even louder. And they take us to our seats um, and they bring Julia up to say a few words. And when Julia is speaking, um, these three kids go up to her. One of them gives her flowers. Uh, no, there was two kids. One of them gives her flowers, and the other one gives her like a portrait that they did of, of her. And the girl that gives her the portrait 
gives her the portrait, looks at her, they say something, and then she starts crying and Julia's hugging her. And as soon as Jem uh, comes back and she sits next to me, um, I ask her, I was like, oh, why was that girl crying um, when she saw you? And she said, that little girl told me, in the Tule Foundation, we have people who come and visit us all the time for the first time. And they always say that they're gonna come back and they never do. You're the only person that I know who always comes back. So to me, you're my family. And that's, oh. yeah, it just shows you like why we do what we do. And, and it shows you as well, like the, cause we were talking about Julia, the incredible part into like humanity that, that she has, it's amazing. So once again, thank you, Stephanie, for sharing your stories and uh, uh, sharing this uh, your beautiful morning with us. Yeah, and, thank uh, you. Oh yeah, I've been having like my coffee this whole time because <laughs> it's well, it's not early anymore, but it was early for me. Yeah. So thank you for waking up so early for this interview, and uh, yeah, we're looking we look forward to talk to you again. Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, we'll be following you on your Instagram. Thank you so much, like for always giving light into our day. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Thanks. <laughs> so, I've, loved, uh, I've loved every single moment. So, so thank you. Oh, actually, I think in the screen behind you, Stefan, they're about to announce me. Yes, because I just saw your Insta. <laughs> yeah, there she is. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I just you look, you said you look like a Disney princess in that gown. I oh, know. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, That's one of my goals is, in life. Rivia was, uh, was the same designer as uh, Zuleika, right? Yes, Carlos Alberto. That's why he's known in Puerto Rico as like the designer of the beauty the queens. queens. Because he did Zuleika, he's done mine. And all the girls that wear his dresses always do really well. Yes. Once again, thank you, Stephanie, and uh, thank, thank you, you everyone for uh, tuning in to Mississology Beauty Talks. To watch all the other episodes, you can go to our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. They're flashing on the screens below the screens right now. And also, please follow Stephanie on her Instagram. Uh, your handle? What's your handle? Um, it's at, at Steph DVD. So my initials Del Valle Diaz DVD. Steph DVD. Stephanie yeah. Diaz. Yes. Uh, and also. <laughs> Please follow uh, Mississology on its uh, social media pages on Twitter and, and Instagram too. And uh, looking forward to seeing all of you again. So goodbye. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank, thank you, John, Johnny, and everyone, and Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye.